Hey everybody, this is Zan from The Other Side Vintage in Tallahassee, Florida, theothersidevintage.com. Um, I am currently working on a piece that I put earlier on my Instagram. These are kitchen cabinets. I don't know if my thing will turn around all the way. Kitchen cabinets made out of wood, and I'm going to use them for storage. So. I have cleaned these with white lightning, I have sanded these, and what I have found is they have that wonderful, lovely basement smell. And you know the price of wood right now, whoo, because of COVID and other reasons. So I am not going to get rid of these, I'm going to still use them. So what I'm doing, this is the back of the piece, it's all wood. And I am taking my boss in clear. Now it looks white, but that's so you can see where you put it on. See where it's white up here? It'll dry clear. I'm just dipping in with my mini brush and I am just putting a coat on the back of this. I also did one on the top because the top was sanded back to natural wood. What I am doing is I am blocking that basement smell because these are probably from the 40s and they were in a kitchen but they have that basement smell is the best way I can explain it so let me just scoot you out a little bit so I'm just taking this boss product like I said and it blocks odors and stops stains and so that's what I'm doing and, and, and bleed through this I'm not worried about bleed through because the wood will not bleed through for paint that goes over it. Depends on the type of wood and the color, so many things. But what I'm doing though is I'm stopping that smell. So even though I've cleaned these with white lightning and I really scrubbed these down and I sanded them, they still have that <laughs> that old basement smell from a house. So again, I am salvaging these. I think I'm gonna keep these. Originally I got them to put um legs on them and windows on the front to make cabinets but then I realized I needed some bookshelves underneath my kitchen bar and that way I could put my supplies and other things there my uh, staging props etc and so I decided I think I'm gonna keep these for my own house but that I can't handle that smell now the boss doesn't smell Low VOCs, and so I'm painting inside while it's raining outside. It is Tallahassee, Florida, and it rains really hard for 30 minutes, and then it stops, and then it rains again. So that's what I'm doing. I am painting inside. There's no smells except for this piece, and what I'm doing is taking the amount of t money I would have spent on building new shelves with the wood, the prices they are, would have been way out of my range. So not only am I reusing something so I'm keeping sustainable but it's already pretty much what I need it to be except for the smell so I'm going to block that by putting a layer or a coat of boss so anytime you have wood that has an old basement smell just use your boss again this isn't clear it'll dry clear but you see it goes on white it also comes in white so you can use it almost like a primer and it also comes in gray, which is really good for uh, if you're painting something red or certain different colors. You can just choose which one. Or like me, you just grab which one you have and use it. Again, this will dry clear. And this is already, again, this does not smell at all. The product does not smell. It has no smell, so I'm able to paint inside. It's going to stop that old kitchen smell, that old basement smell. So you can see, I'm sorry, I'm on the floor. That is the other cabinet. And again, I picked these up and I don't have to pay for new wood to build cabinets. These came out of a 1940s house and I am going to use them. Any other time, if I didn't have my boss, I would have tossed these because of that old basement smell. But you can see it just takes a little bit of time to paint it on, brush it on. You can also use a roller, you guys. I just tend to hand paint things a lot so you can also use a sprayer if you have a sprayer you can spray this product on very easily easy cleanup it's water based so so easy to use 
no BSC, so I am just going to be so happy when the smell comes out of these by using the boss and I can use these and not have to go build because I really thought when I saw plywood that's the size of the back of this cabinet, just the back of the cabinet, just this piece of plywood, would have been like $52. It's like, no, nope, 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 nope. I'm on a budget always. And I like to use things that are already been built, salvage them, use them again. Okay, so that didn't take very long. Uh, I should put my camera. I always do this. I'm on the floor. So let's spin it around. And now you can see this is the front. So those are kitchen cabinets. Again, I was thinking about putting a putting little feet on the bottom of them. As a matter of fact, I have, for example, like something like this. And you attach it underneath and then you have four of these. So it becomes like a, a cabinet. And then you would put the, the uh, windows, old windows on it with hinges. Or you can do a canvas of artwork and put, put it on hinges. I like to do that too. Um, but now that they don't smell like a basement anymore because I just sealed in that scent, that old basement scent, I just sealed in by just simply applying the boss with my paintbrush, water base. I'm just going to rinse this out in a minute. Um, these are salvageable, so I'm going to use them as bookcases, and they'll look awesome. I'm going to take off these. Uh, these were where the doors were. The doors did not come with it, so I will take these off. I want them to be white because I want the things that I put on them, like my props. For example, let's see if this works. I have this birdhouse that I got and I painted it. And then I added some lovely little cutesy little things. I might put a transfer side, but you can see I'm going to set that up in there. And so then what I'll do is when I'm staging a piece of furniture that I am selling, I will have all my staging props in these bookshelves that are going to be stored underneath my bar in my kitchen. So that way it'll be almost like built-ins, but I didn't build them. Look at all that wood. This is all real wood. This would have cost me a lot of money. Like I said, just the backboard of that plywood, $52. So I've saved that already. And then I can just put my props and whatever up in there. You can also put your paints. Like here's some coffee bean. Here's some peony. So you can see that if you ever come across someone upgrading their house and they're just putting the real wood cabinets, not the plywood, not the press board, not the uh, formica that will get wet um, and, and just fall apart, but real wood. These are boards of wood, really well made from the 40s. Then you've got yourself an instant cabinet by putting uh, feet on it or storage built in great for kids rooms too. put a little tiny foot on each side all four they can put their books in here look I can sit on the floor and grab that so you can see you can put all your supplies I also have my wheels that I use to put my furniture on the paint I can set those they kind of sit within each other and I can sit those there too not as pretty but great storage you guys so that's what I'm doing I'm resalvaging, resalvaging, I'm salvaging, not resalvaging, I'm salvaging. And I can already tell that that basement smell that I was smelling, just by putting the boss on and it's already drying up, it really is disappearing already. It's lessening so much, so I'm so grateful for that because I could not handle that smell in my house. So here's the other one, it's another kitchen cabinet, there were two, um, just so same, see? One's a tad bit wider, maybe a couple inches. So here's the back again of that raw wood. So there's the raw wood. So these, the one behind here, here's the raw wood in the back because it would have been against a kitchen cabinet, uh, kitchen wall, and nobody would have seen the back, so they didn't paint it. But that has that old basement 1940s kitchen smell. And again, so if you just popped on, what I'm doing is I am sitting on my floor and I am just taking boss dipping in, blocks odors and stops stains and bleed through. So, and I'm just going to paint this right on, of course, the camera. Such a great person. By the way, I can paint stuff. I can't film. I'm not a videographer. Let's see if I can get that little one. You can see where 
there's a little bit of paint left over that's dry. But I am just salvaging them by putting a coat of boss right on the back. It's going to dry. Even though it looks white, this is the boss clear, so it will dry clear. There's no smell to this product. And what it's going to do is it's going to save me from having that icky basement smell on these wonderful now bookshelves and storage shelves that I'll be using. So that's what I'm going to do. This is available at the other side in Tallahassee, Florida in Historic Railroad Square Art District and the other side Vintage.com. I'll be glad to ship it out to you. It'll be me packing up the package for you and shipping it to you wherever you may be in the United States. And again, this is water-based, so I'm just going to rinse this out, this brush, when I'm done. Easy peasy. Boss does come in white, and it does come in gray as well, so you can get it different colors. If I was going to paint this white, I would probably use the white or the gray just to have kind of a jump start on the primer. Again, the smell, the basement old smell of an old basement that these came from in a 1940s house is already lessening just by me putting this on and it drying and it blocks the odor. So I did again, I cleaned these first. The smell was still there, old basement smell. And now I'm going to stop that. And again, this, just this piece of plywood on the back nowadays is $52 because of COVID. The prices went way up. So between the two of these, that would have been 104 And then the wood, because they're all wood cabinets, that would have cost a lot more. And they're from the 40s, and now they're not going to be discarded to the dump, not going to be wasted. I'm being reusing these, and I'm going to make them little bookshelves for storage. The feet may go on or may not. I haven't decided. If I was selling these, I would put feet on them and add old windows, which I have, to make cabinets. Real cute cabinets. I would paint them hot paint with yellow in the insets and then the, the window so that you could put in a kid's room or whatever and make it like a hot pop of color. Can you see the difference? You can see because the light is on the gloss. Now this is, is white going on, just so you can see where you put it on, but it'll dry clear. So this is clear, boss. Again, if you've been watching. So I'm going to just keep applying this right over. I'll be honest. I took these outside when I first got them and hosed them down, literally, with the hose. Not just like, oh, I think I'm going to have to hose that down. Like, literally took the hose to these and then did the white lightning cleaner got everything off of them. Then I sanded them with my orbital sander to scuff them up and it took some of the paint off the top of the other one so I went ahead and put primer and boss of that. Almost done. We've only been here a few minutes and I'm almost done and I can tell you the smell is already dissipating. Not the smell of the product. There's no scent of the product. Well, don't be confused when I say that to people like, oh, I don't want that in my house, but it's this basement smell that has just infiltrated this 1940s plywood wood and just soaked in. So I am going to block that with boss. So when you're driving around or if you have a habitat store or a thrift store that takes old kitchen cabinets from people who are upgrading their home and it has that weird basement smell don't let that don't let that stop you you will save a fortune buying these and salvaging these as opposed to going and buying new wood and this plywood's really thick has great knots in it it's so beautiful actually um i am painting over the front's already painted it's already been painted white but it's amazing the difference in quality as the years go by, the decades go by. So again, I'm doing half and half. So you can see parts still wet. This will dry fairly quick, less than an hour. The longer you let it sit, the better. So let me just let these rest overnight because I have other projects I'm working on. 
I cannot wait to use these for such great storage. And again, if I decide not to do that, I will add feet, add some windows, and I will sell these. And then I will paint them something funky, something bright and cheerful that are just neutral white. Okay. Ta-da! I have done both cabinets in a matter of a short time. Let me switch this around now. That was the back. That's the plywood. This is, see the one behind me? These are 1940s cabinets. Again, what better way? I needed bookshelves. I needed a little bit of storage. Wood. Thick wood. Beautiful wood. It's just because these are painted but not the backs. The wood in the back had that old basement smell. And it really soaked into the wood. To 1940s to 1921, no, 1921, 2021, oh, it's been a long day, happy Saturday by the way, so I am going to be able to salvage these and use these for great storage, again, that wood is thick, and now I don't have that old basement smell, and I can salvage these and use these for what I need, I'm super happy to save that kind of money, I'm also super happy not to have to build them myself, which would have been, <laughs> who are we kidding? That would have been uh, someone else building them, either Jason or my, my nephew Cameron, who actually does build wood and such. So I'm glad that I'm able to salvage these and use these. And that smell is almost already gone, you guys. It's almost dissipated completely, and it's only been, what, 20 minutes or so? All right, so again, boss is your friend. Just use your mini brush and make sure you wash it out. Water base, no smells. The cabinet was what smelled, not the product. And now we're on to choosing whether I'm going to do silk and then shore, or if I'm just going to leave them this white color or salt water, or I can do my, my bright pink peony. Oh, it's probably right behind here. There it is. My favorite peony. Or just leave them white so they'll blend in with the wall that I'm putting them against to look like buildings without having to build them. <laughs> All right, you guys, if you have any questions, leave the comments below. Send us a message at theothersidevintage at gmail.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and um, theothersidevintage.com. If you want to order, just tell me what you want. You'll see them on there, and I'll ship it right to you. I'll be one that's boxing them up. I've already got tons of bubble wrap to help with that, so I just got more bubble wrap. Again, salvaging that, too. Have a great Saturday. Enjoy. And don't forget to visit Redwood Square Art District in Tallahassee, Florida. Come see us.